We're at the Memorial Cup. Oh, yeah, we're having some fun, I tell you. These Kitchener Waterloo people are making me feel well right at home. Oh, we love KW. Both teams meeting in a battle for home ice advantage in Friday's semifinal. Remember, they both faced each other in the OHL championship finals as well, a series that went seven games. They know each other very well. There's Mike Duco running over Jan Mersak. Mersak left briefly but did return to the game. Now, one nothing for Kitchener on the power play. Justin Acevedo cross ice to Michael Bodger. He beats Mike Murphy to give the Rangers the 2 nothing lead. More from Kitchener, another power play. Bodger feeding Yannick Weber. He blasts that one. It deflects past Murphy, and it's 3 nothing for the Rangers after one. But wait, in the second period, Belleville shorthanded. Yet it's Sean Mathias winning the race for the puck, and he snaps a five-hole on Josh Eunice to put the Bulls on the board. Uh, they're down 3-1, and they keep it coming here on the power play. Matt Bolesky feeding Corey Tanaka. He makes no mistake as the Bulls pull within one through two. In the third period, more from the Bulls, this time on a two-man advantage. P.K. Subban is stopped, but he's right there all over his own rebound, tying the game up at three. So the Rangers giving up that three-nothing lead. Late in the third, Kitchener continuing to press. Matt Halas struck out front to Nick Spalling, but Murphy shuts the door, and this game is going to need overtime. So here we go in the extra frame. It's the Bulls on the rush. Matthias is stopped, but Keaton Turkovic roofs the rebound. The bench is pumped as the Bulls take it 4-3, setting up that semifinal. Yes on Friday. Gosh, they sure threw it out there for uh, not really having a whole lot of stake at this game. Uh, the two teams, as I mentioned, meet again on Friday. It'll be the ninth time in the last three weeks that these two teams meet. It gets underway 5 o'clock now.